They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but show me some handbags and offer me some champagne, and I'm in heaven. Right. Bags and Bellinis is a fundraiser hosted by the Tucson Ladies Council. Crystal Johnson and Kathy Rao are here to tell us more. And ladies, we have made Bellinis for you. You're offering hey. Bellinis on yeah. Sunday, <laughs> but we're offering them to you today. So Excellent. Let's take one down, good, pass huh? it around. Thank you. All right. Hey. And cheers to you in this event, here to a go. successful cheers. event. Well, Krista, why don't you tell us what to expect? It's actually bags, bellinis, and bling. It is bling bag. this year, yes. We've added the bling <laughs> aspect. So we have gently used handbags, vintage and new. All designer, designers such as Gucci, Betsy Johnson, Coach, Michael Kors, Burberry, and bling. All sorts of different pieces of bling um, from all different um, boutiques and stores around town. Some of them are vintage pieces. Mm. So we're, we're offering these in a silent auction format, as well as, of course, the Bellinis and Little Artisan Bites. Now you're actually modeling one of the, the bling I pieces am. here, mm -hmm. aren't you? I am, yeah. Tell us about that. Beautiful. So this is a vintage piece that was donated to us. I actually don't know too much about it, but it's a, just a really cool vintage piece. And this year, big statement pieces are in right now for this season. Big necklaces, bracelets like this. So we're really excited to have this. Well, the best thing about this, not only the beautiful jewelry and the bellinis, but that it, the proceeds benefit That's, a special yeah. group in Tucson. And Kathy, you are here to tell us about the beneficiary of this event. Yes, I'm here to tell you about the Southern Arizona Children's Advocacy Center. And we're so pleased to be selected again by the Ladies' Council to benefit from Bags and Bellinis. Um, at the Children's Advocacy Center, we are the place where child abuse investigations occur. So when a child makes an allegation, uh, law enforcement and CPS will bring the child to our facility. We have forensic interviewers, pediatric medical staff uh, that work with the children to collect the evidence that we need to prosecute child abusers. And then another very special staff member that I brought along mm -hmm. uh, is Russell, who is our courthouse dog. <laughs> and Russ stays with the children through the investigative process mm -hmm. just as a comfort or a distraction or whatever we need him to do. He's sleeping on the job right now. He is. He's, he's doing a great job right now. <laughs> now, what made you choose this organization? You know, they were our beneficiary last year. We are, Tucson Ladies Council mission is to help women and children in Southern Arizona, and that's where our heart is. And so what better way to really, really honor and um, raise money for children is, is this organization. They're fantastic in what they do, and it's such a critical point for children to be able to make a turning point in their life after some tragic situations. And the people, everyone at your organization is just wonderful. We mm -hmm. love everyone at the Advocacy Center. So this is your second year? This it is, is this yes. Wow, wonderful. Yes. I love that you actually brought Russ because that's something that I think is overlooked, is that some of the simple things can prov provide comfort to the kids. Mm -hmm. And tell us more about like Russ having to go to court. I mean, that must be such a scary thing for a child to have well, to do. If you could imagine as an adult having to go into court and maybe testify against a loved one that's uh, committed a crime against you, that's very stressful as an adult. And then imagine that you're a young child testifying against a parent or somebody that you really cared about that's violated you in some way. Uh, so it is very difficult. And our children are expected to get up on the stand as an adult would and testify at their level, but provide the same amount of information, graphic detail about what's happened. Uh, so Russ is there uh, as a distraction, as I said, and also just as a very uh, a, a presence that's not going to pass judgment on the child. He's just going to love you no matter what. And are there other Russes, or is he the only one on staff right now? Russ has a counterpart through our victim services uh, program at the county attorney's office, and that's Blake, who's a little black lab. Mm -hmm. So we tell the kids at the advocacy center that really bond with Russell that if Russell can't go to court, his friend Blake is there. And Blake will be there for him. And will they be at this event on Sunday? Yes, they will. Oh, wonderful. So yeah. we, need, we can shake paws with them and you congratulate can. them on yes. the work they do. <laughs> I'm sure uh, our viewers are going to want to know how to purchase tickets for this event. So tickets can be purchased online through our website, or you can purchase them in person at the door. 
Excellent. And it's outside in the yeah, courtyard. So it's at at, Lion yeah, Cantata? it's both in the courtyard and inside the old cachet, and then in the courtyard right there at Lion Cantata. Well, that's a good use of space. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. That's so smart. Do you want to tell us about these bags? Yeah, so we these go are some quick? of the bags. These are just a few of, we have over 100 bags. So the Betsy Johnson is black and white, which is, which is really in the season. You can dress it up or dress it down. I love the bow. Um, and then the Gucci. Um, bag and wallet were donated actually from a local boutique at Posh. Mm. Oh. So they donated that to us, which was really fantastic. Nice. All right. Well, congratulations on organizing the event that is going to be very popular, I'm sure. Again, cheers, cheers. to you guys. Cheers, ladies. Thank you. Best All right. Thank you. Yes, cheers, best cheers. of luck. <laughs> All right. Well, the Tucson Ladies Council Foundation does present bags and bellinis benefiting Southern Arizona Children's Advocacy Center. It's all happening this Sunday, May 4th at Law and Cantata. To purchase your tickets, simply go to TucsonLadiesCouncil.org. Stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.